Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Solid Invoice, an open source invoicing software, on Windows. To get started, download the latest release of XAMPP. as well as the latest release of Solid Invoice from GitHub. And lastly, we'll download the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. Once all the downloads have completed, navigate to your downloads directory and execute the Microsoft Visual C++ installer. Check the I Agree checkbox, then click Install. When the installation completes, click Close. Right-click on the downloaded XAMPP archive and extract it here. Then right-click the downloaded Solid Invoice release and extract it here. Rename the extracted folder Solid Invoice if it isn't already. Cut the Solid Invoice folder then navigate into XAMPP and paste it here. Navigate up one directory, then cut the entire XAMPP folder and place it in a location where it can run from safely. I'll be using C program files in this example. Navigate into the XAMPP folder and execute setup xampp.bat. Once the script completes, press any key to close the command prompt. Navigate into the Apache folder, then the conf subfolder, and open httpd.conf in a text editor. Copy the site configuration from the video description and paste it at the bottom of httpd.conf. Update the solid invoice path with the full path to solid invoice inside the XAMPP folder. Save your changes to httpd.conf and close the file. Next, navigate back to the XAMPP folder and into the PHP subfolder, then edit the php.ini file. Search the file for semicolon extensions to find the listing of extensions available. Uncomment gd intl open ssl soap xsl zip and op cache then search the file for error underscore reporting update the value of error reporting from the video description then save the changes to php.ini and close the file Back in File Explorer, navigate back to the XAMPP directory and launch xampp-control.exe. Click the Start button across from MySQL and Apache to start those processes. If prompted, select Allow to allow network traffic to reach these services. Back in File Explorer, navigate into the MySQL directory, then the bin subdirectory. While holding Shift, right-click in the white space and select Open PowerShell window here. Now we'll connect to the MySQL database using the MySQL command line utility. Then using SQL commands, we'll create a solid invoice database, as well as a user with full permissions to the database. We'll flush the MySQL privileges, close the connection to MySQL, then exit out of PowerShell. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host, colon 8080. Scroll to the bottom of the prerequisite checks and click Next. Using the video description as a guide, complete the database configuration form, then click Next. Wait while the database scheme is created. Once it completes, click Next. Complete the form to set your locale and create an admin user account, then click Next.
Click the Login Now button. Log in using the admin credentials we created a moment ago. Enter a company name and select the currency. Welcome to Solid Invoice, running on your Windows device.